Hi everybody, it's me, Billo, and tonight I'm joined by Jacko. Now, if you're like us, you're a big fan of the television show Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I think the show imparts sage wisdom and includes a number of valuable life lessons that can be useful for you and I. Plus, it's balls funny. In season seven, episode two, the gang goes to the Jersey Shore and Frank brings along a rum ham uh, and he and Mac proceed to get hammered. So we decided we wanted to attempt to duplicate this recipe. Now there are a lot of good ham recipes out there on the interwebs. So what Jack and I did was we reviewed those recipes and tried to pick the pieces that were best out of each one. And then add rum. rum. <laughs> uh, so here are a list of our ingredients. One ham. Country, canned, or fresh. We don't care. One bottle of rum. Can be dark rum, white rum, 151 rum, any kind of rum you like. But uh, 151 will cause your oven to explode. Uh, and we're not saying not to use 151, but we're saying that if you do, film it so we can watch you it. You wanna see it. <laughs> One can of sliced pineapples. One can of cherries. 138. Fully loaded. <laughs> and a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar! I forgot the words. <laughs> so many poor words. So the first thing we want to do is brine the ham. Those crafty minks brine that pink gold to perfection. Those crafty mix. Oh. Those crafty mix brine that, that pink gold to perfection. This is where we're supposed to. So the first thing you want to do is brine your ham. Those crafty mix brine that pink gold to perfection. Balls on. <laughs> so we'll start by cleaning and scoring the ham. Now the ham's already pre-cooked you can feel free to taste it along the way. Let's give it a taste. <coughs> it's good. Yeah. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you that rum mm. ham is re recommended by four out of five doctors. Take my word. <laughs> Dr. Toboggan. Mantis Toboggan. So sh make sure you share this whole, all this, <laughs> this video with all your friends, because it's a virus. That's right, you're infected. Once you finish scoring your ham, you're going to want to mix up your brine. Today we're using one cup of rum. And a half cup of brown sugar. Let's dump it on in there, give it a good mix. And once you got this mixed up and you got all your sugar dissolved, then we're going to plop the rum into the bag with this thing. So we'll see how that works out. And now you can see it's all melted down. So now, don't be afraid to taste your brine as you're going along. Here we go. <coughs> that would make it sweet. Mm, oh, uh, yeah, it would have been sweeter, uh, but uh, this was just the rum. Here, uh, here's the brine. I'll give you a taste of this, too. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the old hammer in a bag. Put the bag into the bowl. Into that, I'm going to add the old brine. We're going to let this soak overnight, and we'll check in on, with it tomorrow. So 24 hours later, we took our ham and cooked it. So I opened up the can of cherries. Poured about half the can of cherries into a small pot, and I then added about half of the brine uh, from the ham. The next thing I did was I covered the ham in pineapples, then poured the brine on top of that. So I baked it for about 90 minutes, and every 30 minutes I basted it and, uh, and covered it some more. Then for the last 30 minutes, I took the cherries and the brine that I had mixed together and poured that on top as well, and let it cook for the last 30 minutes. Cooked the cherries right in, right? Perfectly. Finally, to serve it, I took the last of the cherries, mixed in more rum, stirred that around, cut the ham, and covered the ham with that. It looked like a train wreck. <laughs> so how did the ham taste? It was ham-tastic. Ham-alicious. <laughs> Not recommended if you're a jabroni. Take that one to the bank. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just be sure to like and subscribe below if you liked it and want to see more. Thanks again for watching. Rubham, really? You're not even 21. But Danny DeVito. Can't argue with that. <laughs>